All right, now I'm on the top of page 368 of the Go Math textbook. Follow along, number five. A group of dancers practice for four hours in March, eight hours in April, 12 hours in May, 16 hours in June. If the pattern continues, how many hours will they practice in November? Okay, so March was four, March, April, May, June, so you can see they're uh, going up by four. So uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, 36 hours. So we just found the pattern and kept going, continued along till we got to November. Let's just double check ourselves. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Yep, looks good. Okay, number six, the table shows the number of hours Jacobs worked and the amount he earned each day. So if he worked for five hours, he earned 60 bucks. If he worked for seven hours, he earned 84 bucks. And so on if he worked for four hours he earned 48 bucks at the end of the week he used his earnings to buy a new pair of skis he had 218 dollars left over how much did the skis cost so we just need to uh, total up how much he made first of all so first we need to find out how much he made for the week so we got to total all this up so we have 60 plus 84 plus 72 or you know what let's do it another way what is his hourly rate that would help us solve this problem faster so it looks like from this problem he makes twelve dollars an hour so his earnings is going to be twelve times or oh they wanted us to use D for the amount of money he made twelve times H and he worked uh, now I can add these smaller numbers rather than these bigger numbers. So 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is um, 18, plus 8 would be 26, plus 4 would be 30. So 30 times 12, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, done with the 2, 0 placeholder, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 3 is 3. 360 bucks. Uh, he bought skis and had $218 left over. So if he has $218 left over, we can subtract that and that will show us the amount of the skis. So solve this and this will be how much he used to pay for the skis. So see, I could have added up all of his dollar amounts, but then I would have been adding and adding and adding and adding really big numbers. So instead I just made this an equation, then I only had to add these smaller numbers, plug it into the equation and solve. But either way would get you the correct answer. Uh, so either way works. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. There's my mouse, oh there we go. But I need to pause.